In this video, we're going to cover the board account method. In the last video, we looked at the plurality method. So that was the voting method where the candidate with the most first place votes is the winner. With the board account method, each place on a ballot is assigned points. The candidate with the highest total is the winner. So let's go back to the president, the math club president election. Um, and let's use the board account method to determine which candidate is the winner of the election. So the first step with the board account method is you want to assign each place um, places um, a value. So since there are uh, four place values or four places, right? Four candidates, four places. Um, we want to assign if, if a person, if a candidate receives a first place vote, uh, they would receive the most amount of points. So in this case, four points, right? And then the next, uh, the person with a, if a person or candidate receives a second place vote, then they would get three points. A uh, third place vo vote would give you two points and a fourth place vote would give you one point. Okay, so using this method, let's determine how much um, points each of the candidates got. So for example, Anna, uh, for the first pile, 14 people or 14 ballots was in the first pile and those 14 ballots uh, ranked Anna as number one. So she has 14 first place votes. So for this pile, she has, uh, actually let's do it this way. So four points, times 14, right? So four points for 14 votes, she, um, that's, the, that's what contributed to, that's how this pile contributed to Anna's points. And then we're gonna add to that, let me just highlight just to kind of mark that off that I did that. And then the, the second pile where there's 10 votes, um, 10 people ranked her, put her as the fourth place, gave her fourth place votes. So for that pile, Anna received one point for 10 votes, right? 10 votes at one point. And then for the next pile, the next pile has eight um, voters, big ballots, and they ranked Anna uh, f the fourth place again. So again, she receives one point for each of those. So one times eight. And then the next one would be one times four and then the last one would be one times one, right? So for that one was the one time, times four and this one was one times one. Now let's continue in that fashion with, uh, with Bob. So Bob for the first pile, um, he was ranked uh, second place. So he receives three points for each of the 14 ballots that ranked him second place. And then for the second pile, he was also ranked uh, second place. He received second ranked uh, second place votes. So that's going to be three points times 10 ballots plus. Um, so for this pile, he was ranked, uh, eight people ranked him, gave him third place votes. So that's going to be two times eight. And then for the next one here, he received uh, four for uh, four first place votes. So that's gonna be four points times four plus, and then for the last pile, he they ranked him third place. So he's gonna receive uh, two points for each. So that's gonna be, um, oops, so two points times one. Okay, um, so for Cora, we just, Kind of continue here right so for the first pile she received um, she was ranked third place and there were 14 vote uh, ballots so that's going to be uh, two points times 14 plus uh, so the next pile she was ranked number one so she's going to get four points for each of those ballots and there was ten of them and then uh, the next pile she was ranked second, so she's gonna get get uh, three points for each of those. So that's gonna be three points times eight 
plus and then the next pile she was ranked uh, third so she's gonna rank she's gonna get two points for each of those and there were four people and then finally for the last one the last pile she received uh, one 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 first place vote so she's gonna get four points for that one vote okay and then finally let's look at Dan so for Dan in the first pile they ranked him fourth place so he's gonna receive one point 14 of those votes and then for the next pile they ranked him third place so he's gonna receive two points uh, so two times ten because there's ten uh, ballots in that pile and then for the next pile that's going to be um, he got um, first place votes so he's gonna receive four points for the first place votes and there were eight ballots in that pile and then for the next pile he was ranked um, he received two second place votes so that's gonna be three points times four of those ballots and then finally he uh, for the last pile he received uh, a second place vote and that's going to be times one okay so I'm going to total these up and we're gonna see how many points each of the candidates received okay, so if you have the same calculator as, as I have or you if you have a scientific calculator um, not all scientific calculator has this capability but most do you can just put all of this in one expression so for example, for the four uh, times the 14 here, I would just put four times 14. I can do four times 14, or I could put the parentheses. Um, either way is fine. All right, and then we're gonna put plus, and then we just, we just do one times 10. I can do one times 10, but I know one times 10 is just 10, so I'm just gonna put the 10 just to simplify and, and make my job a little bit easier by not having to put in the parentheses. It's not too hard, but that's fine. So the next one would be one times eight, which is eight. And then uh, one times four, which is four. And then plus one times one, which is one. And for the four times the 14, I could have done that in my head. Four times 14 is 56. And so instead of putting this expression, I could have put the 56, which is absolutely fine, right? But this is also fine. So if I press enter, uh, so that calculates and that gives Anna 79 points. All right, so I'm going to continue with uh, Bob, Cora, and uh, Dan. So if we calculate the rest of the candidates, uh, we get the following. Uh, Bob has 106 points, Cora has 104 points, and then Dan has 81 points. So according to the Borda count method, Bob is the winner because he has the most points. So Bob is the winner. Okay, so hopefully that made sense to you guys. Um, in the next video, we're going to look at other um, voting methods. If you have any questions, again, please reach out.